Put all your tangible digital copies in one place before you begin. That means DVDs, SD cards, thumb drives, tablets, computers, laptops, cell phones, all of those things. Put them in one place. Pro tip, have a command sheet. That is that master list that lists all of the categories of digital memorabilia that we're talking about and helps you keep a log of not only what you're planning to do, but progress as it's getting done. Okay, I do not subscribe to putting all of your eggs in one basket. That being said, I want you to choose what you're going to fully commit to having an online digital backup copy of your digital photos as a one place where everything is stored. In addition, you're going to want to do a local storage opportunity. And my favorite, quite honestly, is an external hard drive. One that you can put in a fire safe when it's not in use, but you can have it in a tangible, full file size copy. And I don't mean multiples. I mean, we'll get there next, but first we're gonna work with an online platform. My personal favorite is Google Photos. Why? People ask me all the time. Because it doesn't matter if you're PC, Mac, mobile, desktop, whatever your platform is, Google Photos just seems to translate across all of those dialects. And I know there's some more proprietary companies that have mass amounts of customers there, and it's okay to back up your devices there as well. But if we're talking about long-term storage and manageability and shareability, Google Photos is my favorite by far. Okay, so you've set up your online storage, you've subscribed to free Google Photos, or you've subscribed to the paid, just because you don't want any limit to the file size that you're uploading, that's fine. Whatever you have chosen with Google Photos, I'm just going to assume that's the platform you chose because you didn't have one before now, maybe. <laughs> now you need to do a little bit more prep work and that is make a timeline. Uh, decide what kind of time you're willing to commit to this. And also, what is your end game? What are you hoping to have this completed by? Because, you know, what did they say about a goal without a deadline is just a wish? Let's have something to work towards. And even if you miss that deadline, at least you've made progress towards it, all right? And you might even come to the point where you need to call in reinforcements, and I'm here to help, of course. Now, your timeline. Uh, please account for breaks. Don't just tell yourself, I am not going to sleep today until it is done. Well, maybe if you only have 10,000 photos in two places, that's doable for you. But most of the people who call me in a panic and ask me, how do you do this? Or how can I do this? They have more than that. So just keep in mind, you don't necessarily know the exact amount of time this is gonna require, but just choose a starting point and schedule yourself time to work. I'm gonna give you a pro tip that's not my idea, but it was given to me and I'm paying it forward. Work in 25 minute increments with five minute breaks. And a five minute break doesn't mean you're sitting for 25 minutes working with your photos and uploading, and then you're sitting for five more minutes to browse social media or to do some online shopping. That means you're physically getting up, taking stretch breaks, giving your eyes a break from the blue screen and taking in some fresh air. Even if it's pouring rain outside, maybe you just need some fresh air. A uh, glass of water, or a pit stop, something like that. But do not, do not be your own personal slave driver, please. Okay, just not worth it. I didn't mean to get you overly excited too soon. It might not be time to start uploading yet. You might have one last thing to do in preparation. I know that some people run into situations where they no longer have a DVD drive on their laptop, or on their computer, or maybe they even have photos hidden in floppy disks. Do you know what that is? Well, it could be you need to buy a drive to to plug into your current computer because newer computers are gonna be faster, they're gonna work better, but they won't necessarily have the, the reading capabilities that you need for some of these older types. So if that's the case, and you don't already have a DVD drive, a floppy drive, or a SD card reader on your computer, then these are things that you have to buy 
so that you can continue progress and actually get these uploaded. If that's the case, make a shopping list right now, order it wherever you like to online, whether you have a buy online and pick up in the store, whether you call your local mom and pop shop that you love, that you wanna support and they'll do drive-by um, deliveries, that's fine but make sure that you have those reading devices available. If you don't, you might have to contact a pro like myself to do a certain category of your items, all right? The benefit of ordering that first is then you can set that aside and give yourself a mental break off the hook, mark those to do later, and then focus on the other platforms that you do have available now. And if you're working with these guys, you can get started right away because any computer that you're on social media with these days is going to have a USB drive. Possibly the most important advice I can give you during this process is sticking to your command list. Okay, that master list of what you have uploaded and what you have skipped. The reason that is so important is three reasons actually. One, you'll waste time trying to figure out where you left off. And if somebody else is helping you with the project, they'll know where you left off too. And it's just better communication. It also gives you freedom to continue this project at another time. Again, saving time. The second reason is duplicates. You can avoid duplicating your uploads. When you're busy uploading, that takes time, right? But imagine more time it's gonna take for you to fish through your online to delete the duplicates. That's a pain in the butt and very frustrating when you put a lot of time and effort into actually getting this done. And the last reason, we never want you to skip something that is really, really precious. I would hate for that to happen. Those milestone moments, those legacy memories that you really wanna be able to last, pay forward and enjoy forever and ever. If you skip over them by accident and you're not following a system like this, you're really gonna have some regrets. And that's the last thing I want for you. I wouldn't be making these videos.